So this is a tutorial on how to export CS2 models, uh, especially character models, including their animation. So we're using FR, uh, VRF, uh, and that is to see the different models and export them out of the uh, game files. And it's basically the same as I did with Dota, only CS2 uses a different structure a little bit, and I will show you that in this tutorial. So first off, we're just gonna open VRF, and we're gonna open, and then within the uh, folder, in my case still uh, called Counter-Strike Global Offensive, uh, we go to Game, then to CSGO, and then if we scroll all the way down, we have Pack 01 underscore dear VBK. So let's open that, and we'll load in. And here we have all the game files. So first we're going to do, we're going to pick a character. So here we have the models and let's do FBI and I'm just going to export them all. So decompile and export. Um, and I will do it in the folder on my desktop. I select it and we just have to wait until the export is done. All right, that's the first export. Uh, let's close this up. And how uh, CS2 works is that they actually share their animations. So in the shared ones, we go to the enemy sets, and we have the CT shared animations that uh, terrorist and the UI player. Uh, as we just exported FBI, we're gonna export the uh, CT. But let's just do the whole folder. And now we're done with uh, VRF. So let's start up Blender. And here we are in Blender. Let's delete the cube like always. Uh, and let's start importing. So we exported uh, the files as a GLB. So we're gonna import GLTF 2.0. And I'm gonna go to my folder, character, models. Uh, we're gonna go to the FBI and we're gonna do variant A. So here we have the model of the uh, FBI agent. If we go to full texture view, you will see that it is already textured. Uh, it's probably not the way you want uh, in this tutorial. I'm not gonna go over the different shading parts. Uh, other tutor Blender tutorials can explain that to you. Uh, just one thing, uh, what I realized while recording. One important thing, uh, if you wanna make it look good already, uh, just go to the uh, object data properties of one of the parts of the model and turn off auto smooth and the rest is up to you um, back to the tutorial I'm just going to delete the light so it doesn't look that awful uh, and with this model we can see that it has uh, not really animations in it and that's because CS2 uses the shared animation. So next up, we're gonna uh, import the shared animation for CT. So GLTF to one, I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna go to shared, anime sets, and we're gonna import CT. This will probably take a while, uh, depending on your computer, uh, Blender almost looks to crash, uh, but you just have to be patient.
And here we here we have it uh, imported. It looks weird, like a crumbled up uh, CT character, uh, but we don't really care about that because we're gonna hide that anyway. And what we're gonna do now within our right paint panel, we're gonna select uh, these two, press Control L, and we're gonna link the animation data. You will see the FBI agent will also get cropped up. Now within our uh, shared ones, we're just gonna open it up. We're gonna hide the bones and we're gonna hide the actual model. And now if we're gonna go to our animation panel and instead of top uh, and our view, we're gonna go to nonlinear animation. We have a list of all the animations that are in here. Uh, so now if we just gonna start this one or that's just another one. Some are just empty. Uh, and here we have an animation where he uh, has a, uh, is a hostage and this is on uh, someone's back. And if we go up uh, stationary foot is not really something. Yeah, here, for instance, a walk animation uh, of the character. And that's how you uh, get the animations with the character models into a uh, blender. Uh, Obviously, you will have to look up a lot of different Blender tutorials to use this for your project, but every project is different. So here you go.